Hey guys, Mars Ningen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so the subject of today's video as you can tell from the title is of course the same name update which should be coming to global very very soon. Uh, there was an announcement at the end of the anniversary on JP that the same name update would be coming and it came out just in time for Goten and Trunks as of course they were the first Dokkan Fest that released on JP after the anniversary and so therefore released on Global just before. Now that was really good timing for the update on JP because as I'm sure you guys will have noticed if you have actually pulled the physical Goten and Trunks and tried building their team on Global um, you definitely notice a real difference in building their team without having the same name update. Um, whereas obviously on JP, you can pretty much just run a team that is full, like all Goten and Trunks. Um, and obviously, the, you know, you need the same name update for that. So that was a very good time for it to come out on JP. Coincided nicely with the release of that team. Now, the physical Goten and Trunks team is still very, very good. You don't have to use the same name update to make a good team. But yeah, it's definitely going to be very helpful for a lot of other teams. And... We could actually see, with the announcement, if they do the same thing for Global and they announce at the end of the anniversary that it's going to be coming, what I imagine that they will do, which we often see with anniversaries uh, and sometimes even the Worldwide Celebration, is we'll get one final like thank you reward thing. Not technically top grossing, but just like a few extra stones, maybe some items or whatever. And then that's when they announce that the same name update will be coming. I wouldn't be surprised if on Global when we get that they literally just say the same name update is now here because from one of the data downloads a while ago the same name update stuff is actually in the game files already um, it just hasn't actually been switched on yet so all they need to do is decide that it's time to flick the switch and then it will be ready and good to go so i tweeted out asking you guys out there to let me know which teams and combos of the same name characters you were the most looking forward to running when the update drops on global so we're going to have a quick look through the responses i brought up a couple of pages of the ones that i know were mentioned um, as well as some that i wanted to look at as well and we'll scroll down through here and see so this initial reply this is someone trolling at first i was very confused I, uh, I thought they were making some sort of joke as uh, like a time traveler or something, but they, they were, uh, I think they were referring to the first release of Chain Battle last year because technically you can pick the same name characters for the uh, for your supporters. Or they were talking about Battlefield, I guess, because you can use same name units in that. I don't know when that released, but there you go. So something ridiculous with Super Saiyan 4s, Gogeta Flow are literally any rotation of Super Saiyan 4s. Um, yeah, that is, oh my god, that is a stacked box of Super Saiyan 4s right there. I guess with the same name update, um, you guys know how like ridiculously shafted I got on Vegeta's banner. I actually have five copies of LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta because the uh, they were all ones from free multis or ticket multis, so I couldn't trade them in for coins. So I guess I might as well have a rainbow TUR <laughs> Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, why not, I guess. Um, finally beating legendary Goku Event GT with... STW Space Traveling Warriors, I, yeah, I guess, is one of the missions. Um, so this will probably mean, yeah, like you can use a bunch of the freezers and the coolers. Um, things like the AGL um, Final Form Cooler and the Int uh, Freezer that are really good units, but obviously share the same names with like powerful summonable units like the STR Cooler. Uh, you'll now be able to use both of them together, so that's definitely going to be very useful. Yeah, Golden Freezer Easy A's. Golden Freezer Easy A is going to be uh, very good for these kind of teams. Because if you're thinking about, like, say, the STR Cooler team, you could literally have both rotations be STR Cooler and then a Golden Freezer. Um, and then Golden Freezer is going to be your main defensive unit that you put in front of the most attacks on that turn. And then STR Cooler's there to clean up and do damage. So I don't need same names. We've got the, uh, the Bido and Chowman dubs right there. Uh, Rog with the new anniversary units. So yeah, Realm of Gods I think is definitely going to be a big one for a lot of people because uh, obviously with the release of the anniversary stuff we got the physical UI Goku who's a really really good support unit um, and then of course we have the uh, Easy A for the Int one and we already had the STR one. So all three of them can now be run on a team together. So if you want to run double AGL UI Goku leads 
Both of your rotations can be AGL UI Goku linked up with a sign or omen. I forget which way around it is, uh, Goku. So you have like the AGL one and the STR LR, and then the other rotation, the AGL one and the INT EZ A. And then you can have the physical one floating as a support unit. You just have to make sure that on that rotation you're putting the AGL LR in the middle so that they all still link together. But yeah, that team is going to be very, very good. Like over half your team is literally just UI Gokus. So it's going to be a very powerful team. So yeah, all the UI Gokus together. Um, and then yeah, you can use the six year uh, UI Goku as well. <laughs> So you can literally have like a full, you can basically have a full UI Goku team. That's pretty crazy. Uh, all Broly, that's definitely going to be a fun one. Uh, the Broly team, yeah. Broly unit, Super Saiyan 4's UI Gokus. Uh, Gogetas and Vegetos, that's going to be another good one. Um, because until that tech Gogeta released that's on JP, that's not on Global, um, it was not possible to do a full Gogeta team with different named units unless you counted using um, Veku. So, whereas you could with Vegito. So, that's going to be really cool as well. Uh, personally looking to run... Yeah, the LR Super Saiyan 4 is an easy A Super Saiyan 4 is on the same team. Very good. Peppy Gals. I'm not sure how much cross... Oh, well, yeah, I guess this is mainly for all the different Kale and Khaliflas. And then I guess because they're getting their easy A's on JP. Like having the STR Fidel leader. And then you'll still be able to use the Infidel on the team who's going to be really good. But, yeah, I feel like this is mainly focused around the Universe 6 girls. Um... So yeah, the Golden Freezer Easy A's and Super Saiyan 4's. Get rid of MUI for another Bido. All the, all the Bido memes in the chat. You love to see it. Uh, GT Heroes and Reps of Universe 7 with STR UI. Uh, I'm not sure with UI on there. I'm not sure what this has to do with the same name update. But fair play. Going off of 66 tickets. That's a good pull. Uh, definitely a Namekian team. You click on Physical Piccolo and suddenly a good third of your options are gone true <laughs> the only problem of course is because the same name units don't link well together so you can't bring like a whole team of piccolos because then they're not going to have any links which is pretty awkward um team rose yeah that's definitely going to be fun uh multiple goku blacks and zamasus uh before i think you could only run a team like that if you had the uh tur of the lr um although i think the free to play lr from the five year fixed that but yeah that's going to be very good Golden Freezer and Super Battle Road, yep. Going to add in Janemba to this team, try and beat the GT Legendary Goku event. Yeah, being able to use both Janembas on the same team is definitely going to be very good for harder events because they're both so good defensively. And of course, the LR Janemba is going to come out as well at some point, so very good. Full Vegito or full Bardock team. You guys know I love the full Bardock team. I used it on stream to beat the new boss rush when it came out. Um, it is possible to make a full Bardock team anyway. But now you're going to be able to run like the AGL Bardock lead and then run the physical LR Bardock on that team. So that's going to be very good. So I call it the I win team. So yeah, both uh, both Janembas, both Golden Freezers for the defense. And then yeah, Cooler and Bootanks. Be pretty strong. Pretty strong. Uh, so then we got the UIs. Yep, uh, on the Reps of you know, 17. Very strong. Um... Then, yeah, this is what I was talking about with the Trunks and Gotens at the beginning. So, the AGL Goten and the Physical Trunks, really, really good after their EZA. But they are shattering the Limit units, which does take a little bit of attack stat away from the Dokon Fest one, if you're using them on rotation together. And then the Tech one and the Int one, they do have Fierce Battle, but they don't have EZAs yet. So, as standalone units, they're not as strong as the um, EZA ones. But they do at least have that Fierce Battle to give the Dokon Fest one a little bit extra power so now rather than pick between them you just put them all on the same team and then yeah this guy here for the rainbow orb changing is a pretty good shout as well i like that team build for sure um or this uh, it's basically the same setup but yeah using the str go 10 as well so three super saiyan go tens all on the team there be very strong um and we got the yep uis uh, str and int gogeta together physical kid boo and int kid boo this is a big one for margin power i think as well because Physical Kid Buu is such a great support unit. It's really good to use him on that team. Um, and Int Kid Buu is obviously very strong after his Easy A. Same with the Tech Buff Buu. Uh, and the rotation of those two together with their Easy A's, super, super strong. And then if you have Physical Kid Buu in slot three, that rotation is actually going to be nuts. Uh, all Vegito Blues. Namekians again. Full Bido. There's so many Bido comments in here. Shout out to uh, Goresh and all the other 5-9 boys for the Bido memes. Uh, yep, Ultra Instincts again, Super Saiyan 4s again, 
Super Saiyan 4s, Super Saiyan 4s, Namekians. So generally, the Super Saiyan 4s and the UI is definitely very popular. The Namekians have actually had quite a few more comments than I was expecting. Uh, the Goten and Trunks is Super Saiyan 4s again. GT Heroes with the Super Saiyan 4s. Yep, UI Gokus, Rosie, Bro Rose, Rosie, Rose, Broly, Janemba, Super Saiyan 4s. UI Gokus and Golden Freezers. So yeah, people seem to be pretty much set on uh, things like the UI Gokus. Because uh, obviously, very, very powerful being able to use all of these guys on the same team. So that's going to be... A very strong one for sure. Uh, the Broly's one is definitely one that I'm looking forward to. Because obviously Super Saiyan Broly, we've got the Tech LR and the physical one that we couldn't use together. And then Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, we have the STR LR, who's obviously crazy good now. And the Int Dokon Fest one, who is really good. Uh, the physical one is still okay, but even with his EZA, he's a bit outdated now. But yeah, having uh, all of those guys on the same team, very, very strong. And then Frieza, there's not a lot of competition for the first form Frieza because the transforming one's not great until he gets his easy A, I guess. Whereas the LR is so insanely powerful, but you are going to be able to run them together. So that is still good. And then, yeah, final form, a couple of the final form ones are actually pretty solid. Um, and then, of course, the main one is going to be the golden Frieza. Uh, AGL and Tech are just straight up, take no damage, especially in things like Super Battle Road. And then the Int one builds up over time, so it's really good for long-form events. And then even the free-to-play physical one is a good one, because he's a uh, support unit for movie bosses. He's pretty good. Uh, and then obviously, yeah, we went over the Gotens and the Trunkses. Um, very, very strong. And then, of course, Vegito. A uh, lot of base Vegitos. Um, Super Vegitos. The uh, physical one, when he gets his EZA, that could be pretty interesting. Um, and then, of course, Vegito Blue. The tech one's going to get an easy A at some point. Um, the LR's going to get an easy A at some point. And you're going to be able to run all three of them on the same team. That's going to be pretty nuts. Uh, and Gogeta as well, of course. Uh, the Super Gogeta's, obviously, these two don't count because they transform. But the STR and the Int one. I feel like the STR one's kind of dropped off a little bit just because the easy A for the Int one is so good. Like, in most situations, you're running the Int one and you don't really mind that you can't bring the STR one. But you are going to be able to. Uh, the free-to-play base Gogeta, I guess, is no longer going to be completely obsolete because you can run him on the same team as the LR. Um, and then, of course, we don't actually have a standalone blue Gogeta. So Gogeta doesn't seem to get as much of a benefit from this as Vegito does. Although, of course, the EZA for Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is going to be coming up pretty soon. So that's yet another Super Saiyan 4 to add to the list that's going to be very good thanks to the same name update. So... Yeah, definitely seems to be a couple of very popular picks. Let me know down below if you didn't reply to the tweet, uh, or even if you did, I guess, just let us know. What ones are you most looking forward to? Uh, what ones do you want to run? And of course, let me know as well when the same name update drops. I probably will do some videos running like an all certain character team. So let me know what ones of those you would be most excited to see. And uh, I will do those once the update actually comes out. So let me know all of that down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.